Thought I'd end up with Bella. <laughs> Yet it wasn't a match. <laughs> Wrote some songs about Hunter. <laughs> now I listen and laugh. Even actually got married. And for Jake, I'm so thankful. When he goes out to lunch with his ex, and I find out on Twitter. Tana Mojo and Jake Paul are definitely one of the most talked about couples, and it all seemed to happen so damn quickly. With both Tana and Jake being infamous for their crazy YouTube antics, plenty of fans assume their relationship was just for clout. Neither Jake or Tana blame fans for thinking that, but they assert that Jana is not a hoax, just a little more unconventional than the usual relationship. Despite their very public wedding in Vegas, which could have easily been dubbed the biggest celebration of the summer, Jake and Tana aren't legally married. They didn't get a marriage license from Nevada, and the Team 10 member who married them wasn't even lawfully able to. According to Tana's friends, the two planned the wedding months in advance, and Tana even knew about the proposal. Tana's manager and friend Jordan also said, When Tana told me that she and Jake were going to get married, I of course thought it was a joke. I don't think they should be engaged personally. I mean, they're not in love and I think people who are in love should get married. Although the couple is a huge deal, it's not like these facts came as a surprise to anyone. Tana is only 21 at the moment and Jake is only 22, but even with the age factor aside, the relationship basically came out of nowhere. Tana was fresh out of a failed relationship when she started hanging with Jake, but everyone was all up on it. Then came the posts and YouTube vids together along with a ton of attention and subscribers for both both of them, which blossomed into the perfect storybook romance. Well, maybe not exactly, but Jake and Tana do both thrive in the spotlight, so we'll see how this relationship plays out. What's going on guys, I'm Kara, and today we're bringing you another exes list. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you can always be up to date. Today we'll be discussing some of Jake and Tana's past relationships, and you're probably familiar with all of their exes and people they've been linked to. If you guys like this idea and wanna know the relationship histories of other celebs, let me know in the comments down below. We also did one on the Ace Family's awesome and Catherine, which we'll link after. Now let's get into this video. Starting with Jake. I'm positive the man has had a long list of hookups, but there was a few ladies he dated that were known. The first ex is fellow YouTuber Alyssa Violet. She's 23 at the time of this video, and her and Jake would date from 2016 to 2017. She was a member of Team 10, and her and Jake's relationship was no surprise, super public, especially their fights. Get away from me. We're not dating. Get away. Get away. Stop! Alyssa revealed a lot about her dramatic love affair with Jake post breakup, most notably in Shane Dawson's docu-series. The whole situation was really controversial, and Alyssa claimed that even though Jake never physically abused her, he would be rough during video filming and sometimes she got hurt. I'm being serious! I'm being serious! Don't! Jake! I Despite all of their time together, Alyssa said they were never even really a couple. I had chased him for so long, I wanted him to be my boyfriend. It was like he used Team 10 to have girls over and I never knew what I was with him. We were never dating, ever. He was literally effing girls in front of me. So she said she would hook up with him, come back home, and he would be hooking up with another girl. Long story short, because I'm sure you've heard all this drama before, Alyssa hooked up with Jake's brother Logan when the others were away on a ski trip. I got an idea. I'm I'm gonna steal you from Jake. Oh. <laughs> Because like he makes it think like you guys are like dating. In Alyssa's defense, she felt trapped since a lot of her revenue went to Team 10. She was stuck in that house, and Jake left on the trip to sleep with another girl. Pretty messy situation to say the least. I was so pissed off. I was so fed up. I was so hurt. I was so disgusted. I just was at my breaking point. And then I hit up Logan and I was like, yo, like let's hang out. And then and Logan hooked up. Jake was next linked to fellow YouTuber and dancer Tessa Brooks. No! Logan! No, Logan! No, Logan! Jake, that's not even funny. Like, I thought I was gonna choke <laughs> Jake! Look, I'll cut that vlog, Oh, no! Hey, Jake! <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, we won't do that. 
<laughs> give me a heart attack. <laughs> Although it wasn't confirmed that the two dated, it was suspected that she was Jake's rebound post Alyssa. It was just more drama because Tessa was also a member of Team 10 and Alyssa's best friend at one point. This was in 2017, but Tessa ended up leaving Team 10 as well. Finally, Jake's last known relationship before Tana was with Erica Castell, another YouTuber, model, and singer. Jake also had a staged wedding with this girlfriend. Seems like the dude has a pattern considering Tana wasn't the first. I want you, Jake, to start by opening your heart to your beautiful wife to be, to express how much you love her and what she means to you. Erica, I just want to say you mean so much to me. You're big. Green eyes. Jake and Erica were a couple from 2017 to 2018, and plenty of their relationship appeared and felt real to fans. But Jake has also said, We're not even actually dating. It's like the WWE. People know that's fake, and it's one of the biggest things in entertainment. Okay, so I officially can't keep up. Was Jake and Erica's relationship the real deal or not? With all of this fakeness for the cameras, you gotta wonder what's real with him and Tana. But let's move on to Tana's relationships. Way back in 2015, Tana dated Summer Hollingsworth, another YouTuber who basically became known because he was her boyfriend. They were together for two years before calling it quits in 2017, which actually seems like quite a while for Tana. This is my boyfriend, Summer, and today we're gonna do a Q&A and maybe a boyfriend tag on his channel. Definitely subscribe because yeah. I'm definitely considering starting YouTube. I literally do everything in my power to annoy him. <laughs> And he stays with me. Apparently, Tana and Sommer broke up because she publicly gave a lap dance to Kian Lolly, another YouTuber, while in a relationship with Summer. Summer was hurt, Tana was accused of cheating, you get the idea. Despite Tana saying it was all for show, they still broke up. In 2017, Tana dated Hunter Moreno, who we now know as her photographer and close friend. And she actually met him through one of her other exes. Bella Thorne. She opened up to fans in a vlog earlier this year about the relationship. Hunter was the first person in my entire life that I met though and felt like they could possibly be the be all end all. I would look at Hunter and be like I could marry this person and it was so perfect because Bella and Hunter were such good friends and I could do everything with Hunter and be so in love with him and then go over and we would all hang out and it would be amazing and Bella loved Hunter and I loved Hunter and it was just this harmonious awesome thing. Tana said that despite their strong connection, Hunter wanted to be just friends and he wasn't really ready to settle down. They were still hooking up and acting like a couple though, so this one was confusing for her. We're in Hawaii. We are. You realize how weird that is, right? People keep asking me like who I'm in Hawaii with and yeah. I'm just like, oh, like my mom, my dad, my best friend Ashley, my best friend Amari. It's not bad and, like, and videographer. That's why it's like more not weird. I think that's what we're telling ourselves. Okay. <laughs> in the same vlog, Tana talks about her infamous relationship with Bella Thorne. This was basically what introduced me to Tana in the first place, and clearly when we realized that Tana and Bella were both fluid in their sexuality. Hunter actually took that infamous first photo of Bella and Tana when they kissed. Crazy, right? Like a year and a half ago, I tweeted, I want to date Bella Thorne next, as a joke, just on Twitter. And she ended up following me, I follow her back, I run into her a few weeks later at a music festival. I look at her and I'm just like, let's take a kissing picture, I want to kiss you right now, let's break the internet. And then she was like, oh, okay, I'm down, and I was like, you are? <laughs> And then we took this photo and posted it the next day and it just went crazy. It went viral overnight. Once the two met and kissed, it was game over and Bella and Tana were a thing. This relationship seemed a little bit complicated since Bella was also dating ex-boyfriend Maud's son at the time. But sharing Bella worked for them and the three got along famously. For me, it very much was just like instant love, instant infatuation, instant obsession. And my entire life became Bella, Bella, Bella. In 2018, Tana began a relationship with YouTuber Brad Souza, or as you may know him, the fake Justin Bieber. When Tana decided to be exclusive with him, obviously Bella was sad and it marked the end of Bella and Tana's relationship. Bella was also super emotional more recently when she found out about Tana's engagement to Jake because she said she'll never really get over Tana. Despite all of the ups and downs though, Tana and Bella seem to have nothing but love for each other. On that note, Tana's most recent relationship pre-Jake was with Brad Souza, which as I mentioned began in 2018. The two seem pretty head over heels for each other, judging by Instagram posts, and Brad wanted Tana all to himself. 
According to some of her vlogs, he wasn't cool with an open relationship, and Tana was willing to be exclusive since that was what he wanted. Even though Brad got what he wanted, he still ended up cheating on poor Tana, and she found out when she was at Coachella. Tana posted a whole vlog about this, how she was hurt, and all of the drama which I'm sure most of you have seen. Soon after Tana and Brad were over, she started hanging out with Jake, and the rest was history. Well, kind of. At least Brad was, because I can't say I've heard much from the guy since all of this. This is me not whatsoever trying to bash Tana or go at Tana or do anything towards Tana except the best. I mean that straight from my heart. Just because Tana and Jake are together now, it seems whatever they are, they aren't monogamous. Fans have been talking a lot about Tana being with Noah Cyrus too. Apparently the two have some sort of thing going on calling themselves Nana. And I've seen stuff all over social media. Noah seems to be pushing for it, they always hang out and are super flirty with each other, so I guess we'll see. And what does Jake think? Well, looks like him and Tana are in an open relationship like I mentioned. He said, Since the start of our relationship, it's been like an open type of thing because that's just how we both are. Adding that he's cool with the Tana and Noah thing. And funnily enough, Noah's ex is Lil Xan, who also dated Tana at one point. Apparently, Lil Xan cheated on Tana with Noah. Just when you thought this video couldn't get any more complicated, it did. We could go on and on about Tana and Jake's list of ex-lovers, but I think that covers the basics. I'm still not sure what Tana and Jake's deal is, if they're really together or not, but I'll say that the two are doing a great job of keeping everyone interested. I actually thought they were married at first. Silly me. Jake and Tana both seem to love the attention, so maybe they really are a match made in heaven. We'll just have to wait and see what the future holds for the Pauls. Now of course I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Did you know about all of Tana and Jake's exes? Were there any that surprised you? I for one am exhausted after this list, but I think it definitely clears up some things about the couple. If you like these videos, let me know what other couples you'd like us to cover or whose list of exes you'd like to see. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!